All right, again, I, I don't know, he wants me to repeat, I guess. So the pound Aussie, our buying point was 153.20. Our structure long was 154.90. It is now 161.24. As I said, you're up on that trade, uh, Felix, uh, 850 pips. Which means if you took one contract, this means that you're up $8,500. Yes, we do. Absolutely. We do that together with the software. And you're going to see that Monday morning when you're on the trading room with us. That's why we're opening the room for everybody on Monday. Uh, we do, we're going to be doing that once a month. So with that, if you look now at your uh, pound dollar, this was our buying point, And this is where we are right now. Uh, we have another structure which is the 162.17 we close at 161.25 uh, it is an excellent stop uh, an excellent close there is no reason for us to uh, expect anything other than a continuation so the way we're going to buy it if we look at the intraday chart you see the all this congestion over here which gives us a good intraday support so we can buy it anywhere above the 160. We can buy it above, let's say, the 161.35. Look at this. 161.35. This is going to be our buying point. And that is here. The 162.17 is my structure long. Right? And my structure short, I can see it right there, 159.68. So I'm going to put it here right now so I save myself. 59.68. Okay. Uh, now on the short side, if I'm going to find a place to take it short, if I have to, look at this, all of this, this is what it's been holding right there. There is no reason for me to go short anywhere below, up above 150. I think, yeah, I mean, you can take it here if it breaks below the, the previous highs on the key, on the market side. Uh, even though it's not, I don't like it. I mean, uh, it's uh, I'd rather go short below 159.80. I'd rather go short below. I mean, there is a be better short somewhere else. So 159.80. Uh, and no, that's wrong. See, that is the big, that's the mistake I want you to learn. What I did now, I said I'm going to short below 159.80. But I do have here a structural point of 159.68. So you need to put these structural points on your chart. So 159.68. And you make it Sienna so you know it's a structural point. And therefore, there is your structural point. That now you know exactly. Uh, yes, you can have it on Ninja Trader. It works on Ninja Trader or something similar to it. Yes. It works on Zen Fire if you want. Anyway, so uh, we are going now. So we're going to go 59.80 and my structural point is the 159.64 and my stop in this case if I go 159.80 I'm going to place my stop at 160.25 Okay, that is the pound Aussie. 
we're going to buy it above 161.35 and our structure long is 162.17 and of course if we break that it's going to fly uh, or you can use uh, hold on a second on the short side we can go short below 159.80 our structure short is 159.68 and the stop in this case is the 156.80 alright that is the uh, the pound on uh, Tim 